going on, everybody? We got a question here from Anti Mail from Brooklyn. Rock on, Brooklyn. Hey, Scott, great videos. Could you make one on how to avoid plateaus? That is probably the most difficult thing to overcome, for me at least. Plateaus. I personally love plateaus. I love seeing them, because when I see a plateau, it makes me want to push harder just to get over to the next level of fitness, okay? The best way to avoid plateaus or get around plateaus, one, you have to be extremely focused. The reason why you're at that plateau is because you've reached your body's maximum, I guess, strength or power for what it can do at this time. So in order to get above that, you need to be able to focus and concentrate on all the muscles in your body so they work together so you can push harder to gain a little bit more strength, okay? Also, don't be afraid to grunt or breathe loud. That is a huge restriction, I think, on everyone. Some people may disagree, but for me, if I'm lifting weights and it gets really hard, I either breathe really loud or grunt. And a lot of times when you're lifting, you might lose some power because you're not breathing. Like for me, when I'm lifting heavy weight, I'll hold my breath. I don't know why a lot of people do it, so I have to breathe out loud, and sometimes that comes out as like a something like that, or it'll come out as a grunt. And Ryan used to make fun of me all the time, so it's actually kind of funny. But, um, yeah, so you need to be able to breathe really loud or grunt and call forth like that power. I mean, when you watch when you watch movies, you see uh, see people running into battle or running into a fight or whatever, they're, they're yelling and screaming. And the reason why they're yelling and screaming is because act, in doing that, they're getting their body pumped up and they're going to activate all kinds of things. The adrenaline starts to flow. Once that adrenaline starts flowing, you'll easily overcome plateaus because now you're training on a whole new level. Also, I'd recommend getting a training partner. A training partner can really help you overcome a plateau because if you're doing an exercise and you're trying to increase your weight, you know, if you're stuck on a rep, you need somebody to help push through it. It's called a forced repetition. Forced repetitions will help your body think it's stronger than maybe it is at that point in time. For example, a lot of times, if you notice, if you ever spotted somebody, you know, say they're doing um, a bicep curl and they're like, struggling, 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 struggling. You literally can take one finger and push that bar up and that'll be enough to help them even though they thought they couldn't even do one more, one more repetition. It's just kind of a mental game that's played in the gym. So play that mental game, get a training partner and help them push you through so you can struggle through weight and then teach your body that it can lift more than it thinks it can. And then the last thing that I have here for you is I want you to understand that yeah, it's good to change up your exercises. Maybe you don't know a lot of exercises to do in the gym. And maybe you want to stick with what you know. And then people like to say, oh, if you don't change up your exercises, you're never going to get anywhere. Well, you can take the same exercises. I've been doing the same exercises for 10 years. 12 years now, sorry. I've been doing the same exercises for about 12 years. And the reason is because you can do the same exercises, but that exercise technically isn't the same exercise if you're increasing your weight. And if you're increasing the weight in your exercise, it doesn't mean that you're getting bulky muscle. All it means is that muscle tissue is becoming more dense and stronger, which is a good thing. So don't be afraid to increase the weight. The only way you're gonna gain massive bulk is if you're eating tons of food, and you're really training hard, like the same muscle group twice a week, and all these other things come into play. If you're just working out like your body parts once or twice a week, or if you're doing circuit training and you're doing high repetitions, that's fine. If you can do, say you do circuit training, and you can do 15 repetitions for an exercise. Well, after a while, those 15 repetitions with the amount of weight you're using is gonna get really easy. But if you wanna maintain a tone, you don't wanna bulk, you wanna keep reps high, that's fine. So if you can increase your weight five pounds and still get those 15 reps, you're not gonna run the risk of bulking. So keep that in mind. And I really appreciate you writing into me, Auntie Mail. If you have more questions, please feel free to write to me. All you guys out there watching this video, subscribe to my videos, check out my website, scarhermanfitness.com, and I look forward to hearing your questions.